Of course, don't forget, when you're filming your scene, you can't keep your camera in this orientation. I don't want the casting directors knocking on my door telling me, David, what kind of information are you telling the actors out there? It's crazy. Remember, your exported video will never look like this frame. It'll be a 16 by 9 frame that may occasionally have a vertical slate. Hey guys, David Hogan, Mighty Tripod Acting Studio. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We're going to talk about framing and a head-to-toe frame for your slates when they're requested for your videotaped audition. Now, Angela, Angela, hold on. I'm doing a videotaped audition. They want a head-to-toe slate. Am I head-to-toe right now? No, you are not. Oh boy. Okay, so obviously one thing you could do is like, I could back up, the camera could back up. The wider the shot is, the more you're gonna see stuff over here. See what happens. Look, yeah. guys, oh, backing up, up. Back, uh-oh. Am I head to toe now? Wait, not even head to toe yet? Oh not head to toe yet? Now he is. And what you probably see a lot of gack. We see a lot of really cool lights. <laughs> let's come back to where you were. And let's talk about an option. Now, please, do not misquote me. Whenever possible, you want to be in this orientation with your camera, which is landscape or wide. But there is an alternative if for some reason you just can't get head to toe without putting it in vertical mode. So why don't we cut there and let's just, don't move your feet, Angela. We're gonna cut, then we're just gonna move the camera and see if my feet and my head are in this shot. Okay, so now we are filming with the camera in the vertical orientation. All right, now again, to reiterate, I'm not saying this is the preferred method of sending in head-to-toe slates. However, if you can't clear your space of all the clutter on the sides, or if you're in a pinch and this is the only way you can get a head-to-toe frame, go for it. You are still going to submit, well, you're still going to submit your scene with your camera horizontal or landscape and when you edit, this vertical frame is going to be inside the 16 by nine wide frame that is customary for videos. Cool, cool. Now, Angela, is there headroom? Oh yeah, and foot room. So that means there's space below my feet and there's space above my head. And that's just not necessary. So what we're gonna do, and the reason we have it there now, we could obviously move the camera closer or I could probably move myself closer, but if you have a lot of headroom in your slate and you want to get rid of it, I want you to actually edit it inside the Photos app. Now I'm talking to my iPhone family people. I'm not an Android user, but some of these tips and tricks can probably be used universally depending on any kind of smartphone you might be working with. And again, we're working with smartphones. This is not a legitimate DSLR camera because you can't get this kind of shot, I don't think, with a DSLR. So what I'm gonna have you do and what I will show you is that before you take your video to iMovie, you're gonna edit it inside of Photos. So after you cut, you're gonna go to Photos, you're gonna go to Videos, you're gonna open up the video you just shot, which would be a head to toe vertical slate, and then you're gonna edit it and do a bit of cropping to remove headroom. All right, anything else I should add, Angela? For those of you who don't have that option, like David said, you could always get closer and try to lose that extra room at the feet and the head like I'm doing now. And what about distortion? I've seen some people say that they have distorted legs or that the body starts to get distorted. Where that on will happen, good question, David. Where that will happen, right now I am holding this by hand, like we mentioned or have mentioned in many of our videos and in class before. You always want to use a tripod, so make sure that that camera is upright, not tilted, not upwards. That makes him look almost one dimensional. So when that camera can be as straight on as possible, and there we go, look at that. Not distorted, proportionate, no headroom, no foot room. <laughs> I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna have Angela cut, and we're actually gonna turn the camera 180 degrees. We'll turn the smartphone to have the, the lens at the bottom. I just wanna see if, for, if there's any reason that would ever make more sense. All right, Angela did not move her feet. I have not moved, we've just changed the orientation of the camera, we flipped the smartphone 180 degrees, which means the lens is now down there instead of up there. So hey, 
That was pretty easy. You can do that. And again, like we always tell y'all, test, shoot, watch it back, film it, watch it back, test, 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 and find out what's gonna work the best for you in your at-home self-tape studio. And of course, don't forget, when you're filming your scene, you can't keep your camera in this orientation. I don't want the casting directors knocking on my door telling me, David, what kind of information are you telling the actors out there? It's crazy. Remember, your exported video will never look like this frame. It'll be a 16 by nine frame that may occasionally have a vertical slate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We are Mighty Tripod Acting Studio. We help you master the craft and discover your talent. All right, tutorial time. Open up photos. Make sure you find the video that'll be in your camera roll. Now, here we go. We have the right video. I'm confirming that's it. Now, upper right-hand corner, we're gonna hit Edit. And then down in the bottom menu, one of those little icons is Crop. You're gonna click that, and then this will be what your screen will look like. Up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a, uh, an icon that looks like multiple frame sizes. You're gonna select that, and then down at the bottom, back to 9 by 16, select that, and then begin your resizing. So I'm resizing just how I want it to be. I can move the video image inside that frame that the editor has created for me. I can drag things around a bit. All right, so this is all just cropping and resizing with the crop tool inside of the Photos app right on your iPhone. So this is not inside iMovie yet. You're getting this all done, and now it's saving. When I was done, I just clicked the word done at the bottom right hand corner, and it'll take a while to save that video with the crop, and then you can drag that or take that into your iMovie, either on your iPhone or on a different device, like a desktop, a laptop, or a tablet. All right, I hope that helps. Cheers.